Hi and welcome to the fourth section of this course, building a social website. In the previous section you learned how to create sitemaps and feeds and you built a search engine for your blog application. In this section you'll develop a social application, you'll create functionality for users to log in, log out, edit and reset their password. You'll learn how to create a custom profile for your users and you'll add social authentication to your site. This section will demonstrate the following topics using the authentication framework, creating user registration views, extending the user model with a custom profile model, adding social authentication with Python social auth. Now we'll see the first video of section four, creating a social website project. In this video, we're going to create a social application that will allow users to share images that they find on the internet. We'll need to build a few elements for this project an authentication system for users to register, log in, edit their profile and change or reset their password, a followers system to allow users to follow each other, functionality to display shared images and implement a bookmarklet for users to share images from any website, an activity stream for each user that allows users to see the content uploaded by the people they follow. This video addresses the first point. Starting your social website project. Open the terminal and use these commands to create a virtual environment for your project. Then activate it. The shell prompt will display your active virtual environment as this command. Install Django in your virtual environment with this command. Now we'll run this command to create a new project. After creating the initial project structure, use these commands to get into your project directory and create a new application named account. Remember to activate the new application in your project by adding it to the installed app setting in the settings.py file. Place it in the installed apps list before any of the other installed apps. Run the next command to sync the database with the models of the default applications included in the installed app setting. We're going to build an authentication system into our project using the authentication framework. Awesome, we've successfully started the basic steps to create a social website project.